This week's tip is about proper setup. Proper setup is so important when you're working with vendors. If you're not familiar with the setup crew from the rental company or the catering company, you might want to do a little bit of additional communication just to make sure everyone's on the same page. So this situation happened at a venue that was pretty rough to load in and out on the vendors, so everyone was super tired. There was no elevator. We had to climb up steps. Not, not a fun load in at all. So the caterer started to set up all the plates in the background of the venue. It was a seated dinner and there really wasn't a separate area for the caterer to set up. So we set up pipe and drape to drape off an area and we made it pretty. So the guests really didn't know what was going on behind the drape until we heard this huge crash during dinner. And it wasn't just like a little crash. It was like bombs were going off and I felt like I was in Iraq for a brief second and had no idea what had just happened. But the acoustics in that venue carried forever and ever and ever it seemed like. And a crash that seemed probably 20 seconds was like five minutes. So I calmly walked back there and what had happened is too many plates were stacked up on an eight foot table. So the eight foot table, when I went over and looked, it literally cracked in half, the eight foot table went down. Now, I have had tables fall before when the legs are not out properly and they're not kicked into place. You know, when you're setting up tables, you gotta kick them into place to make sure that they're sturdy. Well, I've never had a table quite collapse, just in the middle. So it did look like an older wooden table. It did look a little weathered, but I don't think that the caterers should have set that many plates on one table because of the weight of all of those stacked up plates. And again, it was a very tight setup for the caterer. It was not really conducive to what they were doing. So if you're having a seated dinner, for your client, you're planning that, be sure that the venue is the right type of venue and be sure that they have enough prep area because it's pretty embarrassing and guests don't forget those things when they hear a huge crash. And of course, everyone wants to know what happened. And so I went out and told the bride and groom, everything's fine, don't worry about it. And I had to call the rental company. Thank goodness I have a great relationship with the rental company that I work with. And they brought more plates. Their warehouse wasn't far from the venue. And we got lucky because they were able to bring us plates very quickly. If I had not been close to home where I had someone to call very quickly, I probably would have ran out and got paper plates. I would have done something to get plates for the guests who hadn't been served yet. So again, going through the setup with each vendor, making sure that you have enough tables, enough prep area, so that everybody can comfortably set up in the background is so important. Did you like this video? If you did, like it, subscribe, and share it with your friends. You can even leave me a comment, and if you have a wedding planning question, send it my way. If you want even more great resources to create a productive and profitable wedding planning business, plus some email updates from me that I only talk about in my email, come on over to my website, angelaprofit.com, and be sure to sign up for email updates. Thank you so much for tuning in to Productive and Profitable Wedding Planning on APTV.